Hi, it's Gary. Hey, today I'm uh, on a Friday afternoon in Northern Virginia traffic, um, trying to negotiate Highway 66 and Highway 29, which for those of you familiar with Northern Virginia traffic problems know that's a rough commute. Um, I live out in a rural area and generally don't have to commute during uh, high traffic hours, but uh, today is not one of those cases. And I'm coming up uh, on an intersection where I was remembering that I had my last traffic accident. Um, I like to think I'm a good driver. I've driven race cars, um, been to a lot of high-speed driving courses and can pretty much put a car or truck anywhere I want and uh, do a lot of things with them. But I had an accident uh, not uh, this past year and you know I was rolling up to this stoplight up here and it was a heavy traffic day traffic was really backed up and I thought there might be an accident further up and as I was uh, topping a hill coming uh, towards a stoplight you know I saw the line of traffic stopped for the light so I began slowing down uh, to you know get in line behind everybody well as I did I thought you know this is also this intersection will be my last chance to make a u-turn and detour excuse me if there is a uh, bad accident that's got the road blocked I uh, let me check it on ways and as I started to do that I noticed the light turned so I was not yet stopped and all the cars started going so I said hey, great I eased off the gas and was going slow so I took a quick look down uh, at my phone which was you know down by the center console down here and to hit ways and as soon as I did that and looked up and saw right in front of me a car who someone else on a cell phone had not gone when everybody else went and was still sitting at uh, the traffic light, although the other cars were moving. So yes, I hit the, this car from behind. You know, I thought about that and, you know, I wasn't happy that that happened, but then I realized, hey, it's my own fault. Uh, my, my own fault because while I looked and saw the, the traffic had turned, while I was prepared to stop or the light had turned, I was ready to stop. But then I glanced at my phone. Why? I was trying to get an advantage and electronically look further down the road to determine if I could save time. I was not focused in the immediate area around my car. And though I saw the other cars take off and at least was peripherally aware of what was going on, you know, I did not, I failed to look for that anomaly, which was that car directly in front of me that did not go. And I was thinking about what I'm always talking about with people and situational awareness that I was my own perfect example of poor situational awareness. I was not paying attention to everything, you know, and it's like that in life. We are hooked to our devices. We're thinking about the meeting we're going to, the dinner we're going to have with our family, uh, that problem that we've been having at work or at home. And nowadays, very few people are right there in the moment focused on what's around us we've got electronic devices and all these books now that really encourage us to optimize our time and accomplish more than one thing at a time you know i think there's enough research that has shown that you really can't do more than one thing at a time well now how this relates to your safety and security and situational awareness is that 
you know, if you're walking around with a device or your focus is somewhere else and it, you're not going to pick up little small changes and nuances in your surroundings that would key your intuition uh, to help you become aware of a potential threat or a looming danger. You know, just as, you know, I was generally aware that the light had changed and traffic was moving, I missed the car stopped. So it is, would be with a terror attack, uh, a potential assault, somebody waiting to rob you on a corner. Um, we miss that. And I, I've really been thinking a lot lately about that the threats that we face today whether that's a terror attack or someone wanting to do you harm, they are in the present, in the here, in the now, and in your environment. If our minds aren't there, and I think our society's gotten to the point where we're not there, well, at least a good percentage of the time, you are gonna miss your chance to avoid or deter you know something that that can happen to you so you know I was I, again I've been thinking about that a lot and as I go by this spot where I had my traffic accident you know, it just reminds me of how really important it is to maintain situational awareness and you know I'm not saying you're all on all the time. We don't live that way. Uh, it's not a good way to live your whole life anyway, but um, at least a good percentage of the time when you're out and about or in a strange place, you have to be in the moment. You have to be focused on what's going on around you. And uh, anyway, that's lessons from a high traffic Friday afternoon in Northern Virginia here at the Power of Prudence. Take care. Talk to you later.